Okay, in this video, I would like to talk about the 10M positive timer with LCD output. Uh, the timer by itself is very similar to our 10M timer. So here's our standard 10M positive uh, timer. Uh, the one with LCD is a little, a little thicker. The wires are the same. And the only difference you will see is the four pin connector for the LCD. So what is the difference between the uh, this and the standard 10 and positive timer. The difference is that we can connect LCD and make configuration much simpler. We heard uh, feedback from our users uh, that they would like to see the configurations uh, made easier. Right now, some people find it very easy, some people finding it uh, hard to follow, to push the buttons and look for the output. So we made uh, the version with LCD where the configurations are done through the menu. So let's see how we can connect it. So I have a simple uh, power supply here. It's just a nine volt battery with a power switch and a LED light. Uh, I'm gonna use the quick connectors, bullet connectors. So I'm going to connect the black to black, red to red, yellow to yellow. And I'm going to use the, our uh, configuration buttons, which is accessory. You can use it for existing timers. It uh, makes the configuration uh, simpler. So white to white, green to green, black spliced with the black. So this is how you would configure normally uh, a normal 10 uh, amp positive uh, timer or 5 amp uh, timer. This is how you can configured but in this timer we can add the LCD to the connector here so it's kind of a temporary oh the power was on all right so if I power it on we'll see the light come on for two seconds and uh, and that's uh, because the timer set to the function two and two second period so it's powers on for two seconds and then wait to uh, so if we go into the programming mode by pushing two buttons and supplying power then the, I'm gonna continue pushing, uh, keep the buttons uh, pushed because I want to, for LCD to go through the current configurations and show me how they, uh, what the timer is set to. So it's set to function two, trigger one, instant and normal output, timer, timer one set to two seconds, timer time two set to also two seconds. Uh, and it's just gonna cycle like this until I remove the uh, fingers from the buttons and then it's going to go into the programming mode. So here where we can change the function, we will use the button one to increment. So if you want to change the function four, and then we will push two buttons to go to the next configuration value. So this is a trigger we can set to different value or I'm just gonna keep it at one. Output, we're going to keep it instant and normal timer uh, time one uh, so this is where it makes it uh, much simpler where you if you want to set up a thousands of hours you can easily just uh, set the thousands of hours hundreds of hours tens of hours and, and hours instead of um, playing with the hours in a seconds mode in a standard timer so I'm not going to set the a thousand of hours but this is how you would do it you would configure you would confirm it by pushing two buttons it's um, now you can change the hundreds of hours tens of hours and then hours we're going to keep the minutes same we're going to change the seconds to one and the next one is one thirtieth of a second keep it the same t2 we don't need to change um, we can just go through the menus we don't even have to even configure it we can just turn the power off and be done but once you complete everything uh, you just turn the power off, turn the power on, and the uh, else and the, our light will flash every second. If you need to reconfigure it, you push two buttons, supply the power, release the buttons. The timer going to the programming mode, and this is where you can change the uh, configurations. So. Um, the timers were similar to the 5 amp, uh, I'm sorry, the 5 amp and 10 amp timers. The functionality is the same other than the, uh, all the configurations are done through the LCD screen. So thank you so much.